Hello students, this is Mr. Young, your adapted PE teacher. So we've been home for about a week now and I've had some students leaving me comments or emails saying, hey, Mr. Young, I am getting so sick and tired of my little or older brother and sister at home. So fear not, I have the perfect game for you to settle some of those battles or little squabbles that you may be having instead of getting upset and taking out our uh, our frustrations on each other, we can take out our frustrations in games. My brother and I, when we were growing up and would have snow days, would spend a lot of time together. And rather than fight and get in trouble, what we would do is settle our scores by playing different games. So whether maybe that'd be a video game, maybe it'd be a game of basketball outside, or we'd invent games and we would compete against each other. So cup stacking was an activity that was taught in PE classes a lot, maybe uh, five to 10 years ago. Um, it isn't being taught as much. Hopefully in your PE classes, you already know how to do this, um, but it's great for the brain because it incorporates both sides and it incorporates both sides of your body because you have to use left and right hands. So if I were to play this against my brother or sister at home, they would have a stopwatch or a timer or a clock. Um, and for one minute, they're gonna say, ready, set, go. And they're gonna time me for a minute. And we're gonna count how many times or how many points I score stacking the cup. So let me show you how we score a point. We score a point by doing three jumping jacks and then stacking the cups, okay? So that's one point. So I go one, two, three. I did my jumping jacks. Now as quickly as possible, I'm gonna try to stack my cups. Oh, I'm not very good at this. It's been a while since I've taught cup stacking, but there, I did it. So now I do one point, two, three, and now I unstack them, okay? There's another point. So I would have two points already. Full disclosure, I'm not very good at this. And my record so far is 15. So that's a challenge for you. If you and your brother and sister can beat Mr. Young at 15 times stacking in one minute. Um, another thing you could do, if you don't have a brother and sister at home, you could time yourself doing this activity and see if you can beat your score and try to improve upon it. Um, another thing you could do is have your hands on the table. When your brother and sister say, ready, set, go, you're gonna run around the table. Now make sure you ask mom and dad or grandma and grandpa that this is okay to do. Um, some people have rules in the house of no running and such, so make sure this is part of um, the rules and that you're allowed to do this. So after I do my run around, I'm gonna stack them. And you, you're gonna find that as you get tired, it gets more difficult because your hands start shaking. Okay, then I would do my other lap. Boom, I'm back, so I got, and if I can unstack them, there. Now that would be two points. So. Happy stacking, show me or give me some ideas in the comments section of other activities that you can incorporate in between the stacking and unstacking of the cups. So have fun, happy stacking, and settle those battles um, in friendly competitions and games and activities.